Hello and good morning where I am right now. I'm waking up in a in Armadillo in a Texas Travel Information Center. There are several around the state and I will either put the picture or list the locations below in the description, but there are several throughout the state, maybe even 10, where you can come and park overnight. They're supposed to have internet access. I was I was able to upload two videos last night. Yay. That's actually the reason that I left the one campsite that I loved is because I was I was really feeling productive. Like I really wanted to do some work. I really wanted to do some video editing and some some work like that, but I didn't have the um not only the Wi-Fi, I didn't even have the cell coverage for hotspot or anything. So I left there, came to Amarillo, plus everyone's been talking in my chat and everything on Instagram um, and Facebook about Palo Duro Canyon State, Camp, um, State Park and State Campground. And I was so close and I thought, well, I'll go there. Well, they definitely don't have any campsites, at least that's what it says on the website, but I thought I would go there today and enjoy the day walking the trails and adventuring around there. Even if I'm not staying there overnight, there are plenty of places around to stay. It's only a half an hour out of Am Amarillo. So that's the plan for today, but I have a lot that I need to do before I go. Sorry, I have a little. Uh, I have a lot to do before I go. I need to get some breakfast. <laughs> I'm actually going to get some breakfast since I was so disappointed yesterday. I don't know if you saw that video. Um, I will try to link it up at the end or I'll put it in the description where I was crying over my breakfast yesterday because I broke my camp stove. So I need to find a camp stove today and I need to find myself a shower and then I'm going to go to the state park. So I just wanted to give you a look at this Texas Traveler Information Center here in Amarillo and not that it's gorgeous but it's very practical and I have found a very safe cool kind of place to spend the night you see these over here not lots of nice picnic tables and trash cans and then here is the center itself and even if it's closed, the bathrooms and the vending machines are 24 hours. And so it was just a really great place to spend the night. They are supposed to have Wi-Fi. You have to go up to, I had to go up to the door of the center even though it was closed. And see, it's not a bad view. You can, you can this is what I was looking out at overnight. Now there's a bunch of cars here, but Last night when I parked, there were only a few. <laughs> so people come, you know, later, just traveling. But anyway, there is Wi-Fi, but I had to walk up to the door of the center to get the password. So I almost just thought, well, there's no Wi-Fi. People said there was Wi-Fi, but I walked up to the door and got the password. That's just in case anybody is kind of as dense as me and didn't uh, get that intuitively, I don't want you to miss out. Oh, what a glorious sign. Oh. All right. Does this look like heaven to anyone else? Or is it just me? <laughs> this looks like heaven. And note to self, Bring a gym bag next time. Okay, here's something I discovered. See the lock? It doesn't look like it's locked, does it? Is the lock broken? Don't we have like a universal agreement with the locks that when they're locked, they'll stay in, and when they're not, they won't, they won't, they'll pop out to let us know. So here's my solution. I didn't feel like going to the front desk to get a different room or to ask, so I just did that. Because <laughs> I'm a problem solver. 
Also, just a quick shout out to Bob Wells, because I'm wearing the merch today. Born to Wander. Freedom is a full tank of gas and an empty road. Woo woo, here's to that. There's really nothing quite like a shower to make you feel like a human being again. <laughs> I can stay relatively clean in, in just in my van um, between, you know, the ways everybody can imagine and always talks about, you know, staying clean. But there's something about having a hot shower that just makes you feel like, it just washes away everything. It makes you feel like, pure and ready for ready for anything and uh, just a special extra level of clean I don't know what it is and also um, pay no attention to the mess in the van <laughs> that's what it looks like when I'm getting ready to travel well it doesn't always look this bad but I just kind of threw it together this morning I'm still working out everything about this life including how to organize how to organize while I'm driving, how to set things up once I am at a campground, how to set things up once I am on BLM land or boondocking because it's a little different. And I'm still working it all out, but it's a puzzle that, um, you know, that I choose to work on. It's something that I am really enjoying figuring out. So I know a lot of the people that I watch on videos and stuff are really experts. I mean, they've been doing it a while or they're teaching others. And I'm kind of the way, <laughs> the way that I see my contribution maybe is just being so naive and so not knowing and just figuring it out as I go, just to show anybody that you don't have to know anything to start. You don't have to be good at really anything to start. Um, I'm just kind of jumping in. Same with the videos. Obviously, if you watched any of my videos, you know that. I'm no videographer, but working on it. It's all a work in progress. <laughs>